for you, you know? Oh, like I want to learn singing. And he said, my wife is singer, she can teach you, you know? The universe answered me like that. For example, I have problem with my kids and I think I need to like have some advice. kids psychologist. Yeah, advice from professional psychologist, right? In two days, two of them come. Two professional kids psychologists, imagine. So it's just work just, just like that, you know? When you open your heart to the universe, universe just open to you and send you. And they consult me and everything and it's free, it's amazing. So, and I, that's why I call, used to call my guests my angels, right? Because they just respond and they bring what, what I, if I have a question, they give me answer, you know? It's really, really good. So we always learn from each other. So, yeah, couch surfing is really good. So I, I advise you to register and to participate in Hamgu for meeting, uh, meet someone for, for coffee. Some people miss, do miss you, I mean, you know, some people always are brainless, so there are some people like that, but not all of them. So by the profile, by the number of reference, you easily can see who is the good one, who is the bad one. Uh, negative reference, you actually, you don't like, you don't really trust, if especially few negative reference, right? So let's talk about um, uh, another, um, another way to, uh, to, how to say, it could be warm shower if you really love bicycles like yesterday i cycling 30 kilometers and it was like a um, few hundred uh, of malaysian who cycling and uh you can cycle some countries like georgia in my experience like um, even russia some people russia is big but some people do by bicycle so you can actually travel by bicycle the whole world and especially they they have special network for bicycle people warm shower warm shower same like couch surfing but only for bicycle people and they are very how to say united community brotherhood sisterhood so it's really wonderful and yeah i'm gonna use it more when i go for bicycle not yet mm, uh, yeah uh, another one is Airbnb. Everybody knows Airbnb, or in China, or some in Iran. You can use uh, analogy, local, local uh, an analogies. Like, yeah, it's very good, especially for. It's like couch surfing, but paid one. But uh, sometimes it's really cheap and it's useful and it's it's good. You have more privacy. By the way, couch surfing. Uh, usually, I advise um, if you want to receive many guests, do the house rule. So everybody want to simple rules. Keep house clean, don't drink, don't smoke, for example, it's up to you, right? Not become hippie community, everybody do crazy <laughs> things, right? So, just uh, people need orders, you know, need some rules, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, another another good one is a house sitting. We know, all, all we know is babysitting, right? Mm -hmm. But now, uh, this um, uh, there huge network called house sitting. It means, um, uh, some people have uh, it's okay some people have um, several houses in different countries some just love to travel half year they left home mm. and they want the home to be safe no thief go around nobody destroy the house right they want someone to stay basically to water the plants to feed the cat or dog even to walk with the dog so it's really great project um, based on my friends experience this year I'm gonna try with Australia and with my kids house sitting but my friends half year half of the year usually they used to stay in Rome near Rome um, uh, once they do through website and after that they just continue naturally so uh, they are artists uh, and like freelance so they stay um, just next to Rome very nice uh, like villa and uh, what they have to do is take care of the house simple and they have two lovely dogs to take care they love them so much like treat them as a kids so they really have uh, free accommodation and usually the owner give you a key so you put the petrol you use a another my friend she stay in castle in france and all on all she have to do is to walk around a uh, castle with a dog once once a day maybe twice a day yeah and live in the castle as a as a queen because no one is there yeah. she living with the sun the caring on, on the castle right i mean like she don't have to do some work or something they even give her fridge full of food you know just just to feed the dogs and feel good so uh, another my friends nastya uh, they stay in private islands uh, in Latin America, don't remember which country. So private islands, which is hardly access with, with it's not accessible with the transport, so private boat only can go. And they, they really enjoy this kind of um, life, uh, like Robinson life, and also two dogs. They, they take care of two dogs. 
So this uh, house sitting, it's not only one website, it's on the region, like it could be Oceania, it could be Europe, it's a many websites, but the idea is the same, right? So uh, from two weeks, usually to half year or even one year or even few years, you make a simple contract with the owner, you come one day before or a couple of days before they leave, you uh, and they teach you how to how to water the plants, how to take care of the cat, for example, right? So, and you really enjoy the life of local, right? Uh, my friend, for example, they stay in a village like in Switzerland, which is uh, expensive normally to stay, right? Like um, near mountain, just next to mountain. Or, or New York, an apartment in New York, you also can get. And one, my, one of my friends, she stay in New York, and not even plants, not even cat, not even dog. All they have to ask, all they ask her is to open the window and make like fresh air. <laughs> 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 so it's fantastic, yeah. Apartment in New York for, for this, right? So it's um, yeah. It's also like social network. You put your you put your profile, and it's easy. Oh, don't take care. So another another uh, useful website for real travelers is Workaway and Helps. Have you heard it Work about away. it? work away and helps so the idea is for example i love berlin so much or i love barcelona so much and i feel like staying there so many things to discover in the big cities right i want to i feel like staying there like a couple of weeks for example and i want to stay like five star it's possible Two, three three four hours a day it's a uh, like in project like that like work away or helps three four hours a day you have to work for example my friend she do um, she stay in some capital in Europe in a five-star hotel she have to help uh, cooking breakfast so you can choose whatever job you do usually three four hours so it's exchange right you staying for free nice hotel but you help with breakfast why not right so it's really it's really good way um, like yeah so there are many many more not only about hotels right uh, work away you can the main idea you work three four times not like full day right and you can work with the kids you can for example uh, all, some old building you try to help to restore or something any kind of job and you you get accommodation and food for free like as a paid right so it's it's actually really good so the website i will i mentioned i will write i will write all to you so another one is hospitality club it's the same like couch surfing but bad <laughs> bad design and not so good uh, in users but yeah many people switch to hospitality club because couch surfing became commercial now in english in english hospitality club yeah yeah, yeah it's all in english yeah do you want to own your own do you want to own your own uh, couch surfing Mm. No, I, I have another project. No, no, no. I, you mean like, yeah, I. No, like, do you want to have your own? Yeah, I understand. I understand what you're talking about. We talk about it later, maybe. So, because I don't like really, they became so commercial and so, so. Yeah, and uh, for budget travelers, like you don't feel like staying five star when you travel in Europe. The guest house and hostels are really nice. So hostel board and website like hostels, they provide you all the budget accommodation and especially like guest house is uh, you stay with the local family, but renting like one room or two rooms, for example, it's always nice to stay, especially like some country like Georgia, it's nice to stay with local family to get the culture, but not, um, yeah, for example, you have not much time or you want to spend more with your family, but some interaction with locals you still can have by staying in guest house. So it's, it's the money cannot buy this experience, right? So yes. I advise, I Is always advise. Like homestay in Malaysia. Yeah, it's similar like homestay. Homestay actually car surfing, but you you pay, right? <laughs> yeah, car surfing in many ways is better for me. So another, another when I travel with two dollars a day, so what I do, I bring my tent along, and there are many how to say there are many like natural places you feel like staying with a tent. Uh, why not? Especially like beautiful nature, connect with mother nature. So you you can ask always what I do when I ask when I ask locals can I put my tent just near your house they always yes but we better invite you inside so they always without any couch surfing without knowing any all those websites they just naturally invite you especially in Russian in uh, former USSR country in Asia in Latin America they will do they will invite you naturally without any you know looking at your profile right just uh, naturally trust so it's really beautiful and i of course i i receive uh, this hospitality with thanks 
So, what else? We can switch to excursion and tours. You know, now nowadays it's so wonderful, even in KL, free walking tours uh, everywhere, especially in, in big city, in capital is for sure, almost in everywhere, uh, even not capital. Kuala Lumpur have five free walking tours. So, it, it means uh, you get a guide and excursion for free. In KL, it's really for free, so you don't even have to give tips. Normally, guides, they do this for tips, right? Tips, it's um, something like you want to say thank you, right? So, uh, most of the, yeah, Malaysian government pay for local tours. Five, we have like Little India, uh, Natural Old KL Walk, the Merdeka Square Walk. Mm. So, there are many nice, I, I attend all the tours and I, I like it very much. So, it's uh, it's really free, you don't even have to give tips. But normally, it's the best guys and you have to thank them with, um, with the tips in Europe, for example, right? But you really, you really enjoy because they really share some kind of insider's information which is you'll never get from any book, from any website. So it's really, you feel thankful and you really, two dollars, five dollars, uh, you give with, yeah, with pleasure. So, and yeah, I told you, couch surfing people, it's, um, for example, how I travel in Iran. Uh, last year, three times I travel in Iran, all together one month. In Iran, it's called, it's a country, uh, Tourists normally scare tourists, but not travelers, right? Tra yeah. Huh? Travelers? Yeah. Tra ah, yeah, because of the scarf and everything. But I love Iran so much. And Iran not spoiled with the tourism. So people naturally super hospitable. They invite you. In one month I travel, once, one night I spend in a hotel. And in two hours people invite me to their house, but I say, I already paid for hotel. <laughs> Let me one night stay in a hotel. So, and how I do? In couch surfing you, in Iran, you don't even have to even put personal request. I want to stay with you, I want to stay with you. You don't have to choose the people. Actually, what I choose, I try to choose all these creative people, like artists, musicians, I told you, right? So, uh, so in Iran, I just put, uh, I go to Iran group, because couch surfing is like a forum as well. I go to Iran group and I put, hey guys, I'm gonna travel with my friend, with my little daughter to Iran from this time to this time, and this city, this city, this city I want to visit. Uh, who is interesting to invite us or meet us? You're welcome to write me, to invite me. So, and I don't have to write at all for, you know, each and personal. Many people from each city uh, invite me for walk, for lunch, for showing around and for to stay as well so it's just one message and I got all uh, all invitation and everything so it was the most beautiful the most easy you know using couch surfing experience and it was super super because Iranian people they'll they will treat you as a king or as a queen you know they'll give you the best so you will remember it forever so I advise you to go to Iran uh, often happen Eurasia travel I uh, three times I travel $80 $80 guys 300 ringgit from so, where to where? From Kuala Lumpur to Tigran, from Tigran to Kuala Lumpur. Uh, from Tigran, $50, 50 USD to Russia. So I use as a transit. Whoa. So you always, wow. yeah, yeah. You, you always have to think, you know? So you are in, for example, in Asia, you want to go somewhere in Europe, you just search for any cheap flights, Paris, wherever, because inside inside Europe, there are low cost, there are, there are uh, almost free, like very cheap buses or trains to go from city to city. So you don't have to search particularly for Helsinki or for Paris. You just search the, the best price, right? The best price to Europe. Yeah. And uh, not so good tips. I, I can I can just um, tell you. Wait. Uh, I use you know Kaus Kausan Road, right? Yeah. Kausan Road. There are Kausan Road in Bangkok, right? So in Kausan Road you can buy you can buy fake stuff, fake. Um, I'm an Oxford student, yeah. So buying this uh, 200, 200 baht, 20 ringgit, save you lots of money. Oxford student, I'm a student. So you enter museum for free or with a big discount, right? That's a good idea. Yes, yes. It's not good though. It's a criminal, you know. So, Kausen Road, you buy you can buy something like that, driving license. I saw the German people buying the fake one. Oh, you know, I, I was so shocked. That's funny. <laughs> yes. That's very funny. Yes, yes, because I, I know German people usually... Is it online you buy? No, 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 not on like Kausen Road, Bangkok. Oh, Bangkok, Kausen Road. Yeah, ba Bangkok, Kausen Road. I thought Kausen Road, India. Don't worry, <laughs> Malaysia also can do. can do. Yeah, Malaysian do, but much more expensive, yeah. So, really? uh, and it's do? just 20 ringgit. 
Prince and Gitt in Tasman. Give a sample. So, uh, also, yeah, if you talk about uh, how to earn money on a way, if you guys native uh, in English, right, you always can be an uh, English teacher wherever you are. And a uh, country like Indonesia, Malaysia, um, even Malaysia, like my friend from Ukraine, she managed to <laughs> become like, you know, a, a teacher, English teacher here. So in Kaohsan you can buy not so expensive the certificate, you are your certified English teacher. <laughs> yes. So and you can easily get the job. You know the most paid country for English teacher? Yes, try try to guess. Who pay most? In Vietnam. In Viet and where? What? In China. In Vietnam. China. In, China. In, China. In, China. China. In China. In Vietnam, my friend got like 20, 30 USD, USD per hour Whoa. as an English teacher. In wow. China, you can get double. You can get double oh. or maybe triple. Uh, when I when I hear their salary, I was like, oh, <laughs> but you have to I want to go. Right? Huh? You have to be blonde. Like no, me, not no, really. not really. No, not really. Not really. No, no. Uh, yeah, you just show your certificate. Yeah. <laughs> In my case, yeah, yeah. You show your certificate. It's one thing. Another thing. This one is good enough. Actually, actually, the the English speaker they usually looking for natives, right? Yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah. I'm a Russian. I'm not native, right? You exactly. see my English is Russian, Russian accent. Oh, so Russia. <laughs> yeah. So what you have to do is little mm -hmm. lie. So, like, uh, say that I'm a half native. My father is am American and my mother is Russian. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's okay. Yes. yes. So, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So now you know all the tricks, right? <laughs> not all, but most. So, how to move? Let's say if we talk not about air, because you arrive in Europe, for example, and go around, it's more logical by, by land, right? By land, by boat. So how to do it the best? Hitchhiking, I recommend you after after reading this book, I, I show you the book, right? You must try hitchhiking just for fun. You feel so much fun. You feel so much fun reading okay, this book okay. and trying. Yeah, and uh, and uh, also you can use train. In India, it's almost free. Train is super cheap if you if you calculate in dollars USD. And it's how to say? Some say it's horrible. Uh, travel in India by train, but it's real India, you know, you have to get through it. So I really advise you, I mean, India hitchhiking, no use in my in my opinion. Travel by train, the cheap, get the cheapest one <laughs> and get the experience, the real one, right? So, yeah, and um, how to say, by bike is a good idea, especially like in Europe, it's very friendly. They have special bicycle roads for bicycles. Motorbike is a good idea in Vietnam, in Thailand, rent motorbike. But if motorbike advise you, number one is insurance, get your insurance. Yeah. Because the number of accidents is high, so take care of yourself. Um, how to say, for example, Trans-Siberian train. Every European, you, you guys want to go to Russia this year, right? Visa free, you must use this opportunity, right? So everyone, yeah, everyone in Russia, when you're in Russia, everyone thinking about uh, going Trans-Siberian train, the longest in the world, right? Yes, yes. Yes, yes how many days? How many days? I think it's about three, four days or something. No, no. Maybe one week. 10, 12, 3, 2, <laughs> who more? Yeah. Okay, I travel, I think, 9 days. Nine. Uh, uh, I travel 9 days. If you take, like, from Vladivostok to, yeah, it's very long. It's cross all the Russia from, from almost Japan. Vladivostok is next to Japan to 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 Europe. So, so start so from where? Vladivostok. The best station. The best station. You can start anywhere, but it's really hard. Nine days in a train or one week in a train is really hard. So, but my, how to say, my advice: there are Trans-Siberian train, which is um, which is cost a lot if you buy like online, if you search online, it's really crazy expensive. But uh, you don't have to buy those because those train they crossing Mongolia and China, and when the train crossing any border of any country, it's increased price double triple. Um, my advice is in China use Chinese train, in Mongolia use Mongolian train, in Russia you do Trans-Siberian only Russian train, not international one, right? Mm. Um, it's just hundred dollars. One week on a train, just hundred dollars, it's quite affordable. USD, not, not ringgit, right? So it's for less than 400 ringgit. So, yeah, because some of my friends say it's very, very expensive, like, to use Trans-Siberian. I say it's not. I use like three times. So, yeah, and uh, the main point, not travel just one week on a train is so boring, you will feel like no movement, you feel, 
in each city you have to go out at least for a couple of days to discover right so at least for a few hours if not a couple of days so but better for a couple of days depending on how much time you have so uh, what else by walk yeah by walk uh, I told you it's also good good uh, way uh, walk, because walking is meditation so you just walk like country like Georgia small beautiful country like Armenia you just walk and see enjoy the beauty enjoy the local people and it's it's beautiful especially no internet and no money <laughs> but you know in Georgia in Georgia in country like Georgia I feel like if I travel no money and no internet I will increase five kilo because Georgian hospitality they will overfeed you they will over welcome you you know you feel you feel like oh I have to fasting you know yeah <laughs> so but I don't know not sure about Spain yet that's why I try to I want to try with Spain this one so yeah basically Ah, and there is some trick like, uh, for example, you know, we ha in Russia we have big Russian, we have little part of Russian Europe which is called Kaliningrad. Do you know? No. Yeah. No. So, or some other, um, like, yeah, it's it's hard if you don't know. So there are part Kaliningrad, which is uh, previous Germany, I guess, before uh, the German name before. So, and because you are uh, ah, okay here, over yeah. there. No, back. Oh, back. Yes. Back. Okay. Back. Okay. So, uh, the thing is, if you travel from Russia to Russia, even through Europe, crossing some European country, it's uh, it costs you like two thousand ruble. If you travel uh, from Russia, uh, from Moscow to Vilnius, which is next to it, but it's much nearer. It's the same train. The next stop is five thousand. So you have to, you know, you have to be smart. You buy for the last destination, Kaliningrad and you go to the next station which is more expensive because it's different country understand right yeah. sometimes we need to use our logic and just um, and yeah uh, there are many useful websites for independent traveler so normally people share experience uh, about their travel and uh, for Russian we have few and for English one I think it's even I pronounce uh, it's it's no use so better I write later right on the group so and also it's very useful to use ex expats website uh, like you go for example you're Indian and you go to um, like Russia and many Indians stay in Russia or for example you Japanese you go to here we have Japanese community here for example if I'm Russian I go somewhere I always look for expat site or Russian site Russian people living for example in China or in Thailand right so I get useful and very nice information there and the most uh, famous one internations internations.org it's um, yeah, it's unite people um, 